Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you the best free video editing software in 2022 and it's basically like a free version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Let me showcase it everything guys. I'm going to show you how you can get your hands onto it and also show you real quick how I would start to edit a video on it so you can see like all the features and all the functions but trust me it has basically all the same features as Adobe Premiere Pro so therefore if you guys enjoy this content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much. Without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic and yeah guys the video editing software which we're going to cover in today's video is from FX Home and it's actually called HitFilm Express and you can already see now free video editing software for creators you of course also have a subscription if you want to have some premium features but just the pure editing software itself with all the effects which we need by the way I'm going to show you everything in tutorial you can get for absolutely free you just simply have to create an account here and then click on to download for free and now I'm going to show you how to actually edit your first video so yeah guys and once we actually know in HitFilm itself here you will directly notice that that this looks a lot like normal Adobe Premiere Pro. Once we also go here onto the videos, we should see in our controls, it looks really the same. And I'm just gonna drag my controls here actually now to the top again, because I like to have them there or sort of like the same way as in Adobe Premiere Pro. And I just put in here now an intro, we now of course also have some Fortnite gameplay, then we also have like this little subscribe button and I'm just gonna show you overall how I would make my normal YouTube videos. So in the first place, I just put my audio here up a little bit, you know, we have the intro here. So let's just actually go onto it, make it a little bit bigger here and try to get like this blend in effect, you know? So yeah, we're just gonna go here now onto Opacity. That's like the one which we're looking for. We're going to create here actually a point, go all the way to the beginning and actually put it on zero. So we have like this nice blend in, you know? I just actually muted here all the audio because we don't need it. We can of course also unlink it and then fully remove it here from the timeline, you know, just for the tutorial. So you don't hear my voice actually like double but yeah, we have already here like this nice blend in effect, you know, we can also actually do like a normal zoom. So let's just say that we're going to go here into transformation. We can now see here that in the beginning, we're going to leave it actually on scale 100. And once we're going to go here over all the way, we're maybe going to put it to like 115 or maybe even 125. So it looks a little bit nicer. So, you know, we have like here the zoom in effect. We can also here go like where we want to zoom in. So once we actually also open up here our timeline, we can also put the zoom here over the whole entire time of the intro. And now we should have a really nice effect, you know, while going into the video itself. We have like, first of all, this blend in and also the zoom in into my face, which is gonna look a lot more professional, guys. You know, let's just say that you're trying to make like a small intro. You wanna like say everything you want in that video, tutorial, whatever. You're just gonna have like this nice zoom effect and it looks really fluent here. So guys, and let's just say now as an example that we also want like a small transition while actually going from the intro into the gameplay. I'm now going to show you how you can actually do this here super, super easy. All you guys gotta do is go into your effects and then you're just simply gonna scroll down a little bit until you can already find your transition video. You know, just simply open it up like that here on the small arrow. And then we should find motion here and there we have push. This is the best one in my opinion because we just simply can drag it here between those clips super super easy and let's just have a look how it's going to look like now you know we still have the zoom effect here from the intro and like that we're already in the gameplay itself which is going to look amazing and yeah let's just say as an example that we want to cut somewhere you know here to the beginning of the gameplay we're actually now going to press c on our keyboard so we have like here this small cutting tool then we can already make a cut fully actually remove here this section and just simply drag the rest over there again and now set the transition again and it's that easy, yeah? We're gonna go from the intro now into the gameplay scene where we know he contested from the beginning. And I think I just got the gun here actually. And uh, yeah, just like that, I won't off spawn. And I already now actually also here put now my other transition in there, or better said like a small effect where it comes down here now from the top, you know, this um, small thing here. Don't forget to subscribe. This is actually fully pre-made and you can see now everything is working exactly as it's supposed to be. So therefore you can easily drag in all your effects, subscribe notifications, all that stuff. And we're actually also now going to go into media and have here now something with a green screen, you know, like the join my discord button. And let's just say that we now want to make this like green screen into a transparent object. So we can just simply put it wherever we want, guys. We're going to go here into effects again onto key and then we should now actually find RGB key. Yeah. We're just simply going to drag the effect here onto our preset, whatever we have to the effect, you know what I'm saying? And then we now have like this small thing here uh, with which we can actually pick a color, which we're going to drag onto the green screen. And now we are actually able to go here as well into our normal transformation and put it down here a little bit. And depending on when the animation starts, 
it should look like exactly like this here super super easy again so therefore guys if you ever seen someone use adobe premiere pro it's exactly the same thing but keep in mind it's free it doesn't have a watermark whatsoever you can edit high quality videos with it let's just say as an example that we actually want to have the subscribe button here now over the intro we just simply can pick it and drag it all the way up here guys then we also have to go on here real quick unlink it to make sure that we actually don't move the file over our actual intro and now once we actually launch the intro itself it should look exactly like this here yeah join the discord you know we still have the zoom effect we have the nice transition in a couple of seconds we have the discord button on the description or even like a subscribe button whatever you want to put there and yeah then we also have here like the other subscribe thingy and now we also want to add some music so we're going to go back to media and i think i already added some music here which is probably going to be a little bit too loud so we're instantly going to drag it down here now with this small line to maybe something like minus 40 decibel and once we actually listen to it yeah you can hear it guys kind of good you know i don't have my headphones on right now but yeah this is exactly how it's supposed to sound like we have everything we basically need to make a high tier high quality video just like that and let's just say as an example that this is our finished product guys we're actually now going to click here on to export go on to export now and then we're gonna go now into contents then it's gonna give us like this small warning if you actually use any of the paid features from this application itself there might be a watermark but of course we haven't used any of them so we're just gonna click it onto it here now and it already says here starting and the video is now gonna get fully rendered in whatever preset we choose you know so let's just say as an example that we make like a new file i chose it actually for this scene guys the h264 codec 1920 x 1080p on 60 fps and it's already getting fully now rendered here on our desktop and it shouldn't really like take too long we can already see here 65 percent and i would say we're also going to watch it to see the finished product there we got it fully finished we're now going to open it up here actually the file location and run the video real quick of course we don't have like sound there because in the intro i wasn't talking but we can see all the transitions are working now we should also have to swipe here over to the gameplay itself we have all the audio. I kind of rendered it in a low bitrate. I should probably put it a little bit higher, you know, to make it really HD. But we have everything. The sound is nice. The FPS is 60 FPS. We don't have a watermark whatsoever. And the video just simply is exactly how we needed it. We can also actually take a real quick here. A look, guys. 100 MBits is definitely not too bad for a video like this. How long was it? Almost a minute, you know, full HD, 60 FPS definitely not bad at all and this is how simple it is guys to fully edit a video with HitFilm, which is by the way the best video editing software for free in 2022 and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would have made so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace